Okay, now I will demonstrate how to tie off your line once you're finished lacing. Um, up to this point, you have been following a figure eight pattern uh, coming down through the top and over the ring. So you're constantly following this type of pattern. Uh, but when you get to the end to use the buckle, you're going to want to go under the ring first, not over it. So let's uh, show you how to do that. So let's say this is your, well this is the final half. And so at this point you're going to want to put your buckle on. And if you don't forget to do this at least once, you didn't do it right. Trust me, at some point you'll probably forget to put this on here before you go under the ring. So now take all your, most of the slack, you're going to come around and make a lap anyway. But at least this way you'll be able to generally position where the buckle's going to end up. <clears throat> so in, in anticipation of taking slack out, I'm going to put it up here. I really want it to end up down here. Same with this one, I'll move it so that it's down under here. So making sure again there's no kinks. This might be hard to get. So you take your screwdriver and just a piece of cloth so you don't scuff up your part and lift up the ring to push that through. It would be kind of tricky when the end is uh, super glued, but there it goes. Okay, so now you can see that on this last lab we went under the ring. hope that's pretty obvious now. Give yourself some slack when you go through the buckle. And pull that through. So one other detail I'd like to mention is when you're just going around the drum, as you've seen before, uh, holding the drum by its own weight. Uh, that's fine, there's no issue with that, except that sometimes this ring can get skewed. So to prevent that, because you're going to be taking out slag going in a circle, I like to start over here, back uh, by where you're going to end up, about a quarter of the way over. So I'm going to start here and take out some of the slag before I start making a lap over here so that it'll kind of balance itself out. So you can see the ring's off here, but every, everything's loose, so this it can move very easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and start holding the drum by its own weight over here and build up a little slack. And now you can go back over here and start. And by the time you hit that other spot, your ring will have centered out and you'll be good to go.